Welcome to another Amazon Lumberyard tutorial from Burton's Media Group. This is Dr. Brian Burton. In this tutorial, we're going to cover what to do when the shot or projectile hits the asteroid and being able to remove those objects from the game environment. So to get started, I'm going to open up one of my closest asteroid here and we're going to go into the script canvas for that asteroid and I've created a new script canvas called Collision to handle all my collision effects. The first thing that we need in collision is the on collision and that is located under physics, the physics component. So we'll drag that onto the screen. The next thing that I want to add is a delay. Now it might seem strange to add a delay if I'm trying to remove an object from the scene but this is done for on purpose so that we can add a particle effect which will be in a forthcoming tutorial. I want to delay the amount of time for the physics component before it's deleted from the environment by a hundredth of a second. That'll give plenty of time to activate the particle effect inside the game environment. So we've got our delay. The last node will remove the asteroid from the game environment. And we're going to use the deactivate game entity by ID. One of the reasons why I'm choosing to use the deactivate game entity by ID instead of a remove dynamic slice is that this isn't a dynamic slice, this is a regular slice. This script, this collision script, will remove the asteroid from the game environment as soon as the object has a collision or at least a hundredth of a second after the collision occurs. Now we have one more thing that we need to do because all we've done is remove the asteroid from the game environment. We can save this. In the projectile, we need similar script. Now you might remember the projectile from the last tutorial where we're creating the shot. If not, check the playlist. We need the same type of situation, except we don't actually need the delay. So let's remove the delay. So on a collision, and this is the shot that, or projectile that's been fired, when a collision occurs, we want it to destroy the dynamic slice by the entity. Uh, we could have just simply copied it off from the collision, but we don't want the delay for this to occur. So we want the shot to be immediately removed from the game environment. And that will remove the shot. Remember the shot is a dynamic slice, so it will be removed. That way, for our projectile, we've managed to handle, should the shot not hit anything, after three seconds it will be removed from the game environment. Or if it does hit something, preferably an asteroid, the projectile will be immediately removed from the game environment. There we go. That's how we do this. Let's save and check to make sure that everything's working correctly. My script canvas, don't forget to add the script canvas to the asteroid. Have an asteroid selected and then add component for the script canvas so that you can associate the collision with that asteroid. We've got that included in the game. Make sure that it is populated to everything, to all the rest of the slices. So save slice overrides and that has updated all the asteroids so that they can now handle the collision event. There we go. And everything disappeared just like we wanted to. So in the next tutorial in our series on using Script Canvas with Amazon Lumberyard, we're going to look at how to create an explosion or particle effect. 